about people searching for an idol. It's about thousands of people who think they've found one. And of all places to discover their guiding light, they've found it in the pages of a comic book. It's a grey dawn on a remote Bengali beach. A half-drowned man staggers from the sea. His ship has been sunk and his father murdered by Sing pirates. On the skull of his father, he swears to devote his life to the ceaseless fight against crime and injustice. Phantom, alias Mr. Walker. The Phantom has founded a philosophy to live by. Or rather, his followers have built a mountain upon which he reigns supreme. Phantomology, it's called. And like all the world's big philosophies, it's big business. Here, tucked into the back streets of Chippendale in Sydney, is an operation spawned of the Phantom that in six years has grown so large that its manager, Dare Jennings, wants out. It's a business Dare began because he wanted to print himself a Phantom T-shirt. It now prints 12,000 garments a day. That means keeping people up to the machines 24 hours a day to meet the orders, to supply the chain stores so that they'll place more orders. The business has begun to adopt a sense of urgency and seriousness that Dare had never intended. The Phantom, he says, never meant life to lose its levity, whatever the task at hand. In Brisbane, a small band of followers have taken up the Phantom business, determined not to lose sight of his light-hearted edict. In the name of the Phantom, they produced and marketed an assortment of goods to satisfy everyone from the casual reader to the dedicated devotee. Good morning, Phantom Club. Oh, you're a Phantom fan, are you? Right. Oh, well, to uh, join, the, join the club to become a member, all you have to do is send us your name and address and your membership fee. These yes, fellows have given up their jobs to work full-time at what's known as the Phantom oh, Headquarters. Ones, have you? Oh, that's good. All oh, right, well, we have a range of goodies that uh, we can offer you. Uh, badges, stickers, posters, T-shirts. We've got uh, quite a few things. The rings will be out shortly. There's a pen pal service. We have social functions, sporting activities. Yeah, fine. All right, well, we hope to hear from you in the next couple of days. OK, long live the Phantom. Thanks for calling. It's also the home base of John Henderson, the chief exponent of phantomology in Australia. I'd like uh, everybody in Australia to be a member of the Phantom Club eventually. I think we can do a lot of good. So far, John has joined up more than 2,000 Phantom Club members. He says he admits about 25 new members a week. Each receives a framed certificate of membership featuring the sworn oath. I promise to fight on the side of the weak against the oppressor, with good against evil, and to do everything in my power to destroy greed, cruelty, and injustice, wherever it exists. And may my children follow after me. The membership is far from an all-Australian crew. In fact, some of the most dedicated Phantom followers can be found in Papua New Guinea, where the indigenous people claim that they are, in fact, the Phantom's trusty band of Bandar pygmies. To such as these, John and his team feel they have a duty to serve. They need to be kept up to date with the new Phantom facts. There needs to be discussion on the evolution of the Phantom. Its author, Lee Fork, is ageing, and now a couple of Swedes have begun producing comics. And Phantom fans aren't convinced that they convey the true spirit of the man. He's not just the detective come crime fighter that the Swedes portray. To them, the Phantom is a man with a host of exceptional qualities. Qualities derived from traditions and responsibilities inherited through four centuries of phantom ancestors. Yeah, right.
I like the Phantom because of his sense of humour. When he gets in a tight spot, might have a gun at his chest. He's always got a, 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 a dry remark to come back with. And he, he's never uh, flustered. He, he's always got a smile on his face. And also the, uh, the antics he gets up to, I think they're fantastic. He's uh, only a mortal, just like myself or anyone else. But he's... Um, Combined all his efforts against incredible odds. Fights alone. He doesn't have anyone to back him up. It's a, a tough existence, but he's always done it unswervingly because he took the oath. And it's very important to him. It's very important to me. To me, the Phantom represents uh, justice. He treats everyone the same, big knobs and everything. They're all the same to him. He also represents a good, clean sort of life, living in the jungle, and um, he's just so fit, and that he's just great. My experience is that phantom people more think and live phantom rather than just rely on a fortnightly comic book. Um, once you get into the phantom, he really does influence your thinking 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It, it is, as I said, an overall philosophy uh, for, for many people. Living out the phantom philosophy, taking the spirit of the man into the game, that's what the club's tried to achieve through its sporting activities. But living out those principles has its problems. People, particularly Christians who turn the other cheek, don't always understand that there are times when the Phantom has to use violence. As the Phantom says, you have to be rough with roughnecks. But then, even lawyers have been guided by his words. A woman lawyer in Sydney wrote, Experience has taught me that a wisely selected old jungle saying from a Phantom adventure is worth volumes of precedent in the rough and tumble of the courtroom. Around the world, people have found relevance in the Phantom. The comic has been translated into about 18 languages. The strip is run in some 500 newspapers, published in 63 countries. In Australia, 35,000 copies are printed of each issue. There were major celebrations throughout the country when the Phantom finally wed his beloved Diana. in New Guinea, the Phantom has such authority that he's used in the government's health education campaigns. I think in this, this world, a lot of people uh, need an example or, or need um, someone to look up to. And I certainly look up to the Phantom, I know a lot of people do. Whenever you're in doubt, whenever you're in two minds, if you just think how the Phantom would act, what the Phantom would do, uh, I think you get a good example. I think he's a tremendous man. Uh, a great man uh, in a world where great men are few and far between. His actions live on, he inspires other people to, to do things in the real world. So he is far from just uh, a cartoon character. His effect is felt in the real world. Around the Phantom is woven a fabric of morality, and within it, Rather than within his jungle, he reigns supreme. For his principles and his standards rule the lives of many today who would quest to follow in the footsteps of the ghost who walks.